More questions have been raised following the installation of the third Northern Land Council Chief Executive within four months. Former Labor MLA Jack R. Kitt has come into the job, saying he'll return stability to the troubled body. But some land councillors are in open revolt and want a full council meeting to get to the bottom of the sacking of former CEO Joe Morrison. Jack R. Kitt has been brought in to fix an organisation he says has lost its way. When we were hitting the wall now, it's the worst time I've ever seen it. But he's the third CEO in four months, and some land councillors are asking why the former CEO, Joe Morrison, was dismissed after he started an investigation into the leasing of the land council's buildings from its subsidiary, the Aboriginal Investments Group, at rent they view too high. The councillors are asking whether there's a conflict of interest because the land council and leasing company share the same board members. The executive have lost their way and they believe that they're a power amongst themselves. They're calling on the Federal Indigenous Affairs Minister to demand a special land council meeting to investigate. We're still lobbying the minister and hopefully um, we get some response from him. The new CEO says there's no need. We don't believe it's necessary at this stage for the minister to intervene. And no problem over the Aboriginal Investments Group relationship. There's no conflict of interest whatsoever. The Aboriginal Investments Group says it has legal advice saying there's no conflict of interest. Even though the investigation into the leasing of this building and other matters is being conducted internally, Jack R. Kitt has given an assurance that it will expose and deal with any irregularities. Let me have a look at the files and then I'll come back and I'll tell you who's an angel and who's not. There's concern the infighting could stall the Blue Mud Bay coastal fishing access negotiations. But the negotiations and consultations that should be taking place are being held up and, you know, frozen because of this turmoil at the moment. Late today, instead of offering to force a full council meeting, the Federal Minister Nigel Scullion said a number of serious allegations about the council's governance would be investigated. Jane Barton, ABC News.